Hey guys, Ryan with Tweak My Device. Let's take a look at the Shifter 2.3 ROM for the Droid Bionic. This ROM is unique in that you install the base, which wipes everything just one time, and any updates after that, you just install a simple add-on pack with a cache and a Dalvik cache wipe. This base is built off of 5.7.893. It has a lot of improvements. You're going to want to check it out. The add-on packs are even sweeter. Before you install the base ROM, make sure you delete any unthrottle folders from your internal or external SD card. So to get started with your rooted Bionic, make sure you have Bionic Bootstrap installed and go ahead and check out the link below this video for that ROM install. After you've downloaded the shifter base and all the add-on packs you're going to want, transfer those to your SD card like it says in that video and then we'll continue. All right guys, now that we've booted back up, we are on the Shifter 2.3 base. If you use My Backup or Titanium Backup, you'll want to skip the Google login and install your apps, you know, yourself. So tap, 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 tap in the four corners. And then you can choose Done Adding Accounts. Go on with your location stuff. We can done that and done that. There you have it. Now we're at the home screen. Of course you notice this is blurred. Got all the blur elements, the widgets. You can see what our menus look like on this shifter 2.3 base. Our notification pull down is very nice and the theme is consistent. Has some overscroll. You can reject things individually or just clear them all together. We've got our phone dialer, recent calls, contacts, and you are able to add one. No errors. Let's look into text. gray and gray keyboard. Let's see what kind of camera he included for us. Great. Got our HD recording. Can enable widescreen. Let's check out our panorama mode. We'll just go ahead and end that, but yeah, you see panorama mode works. Great, the camera seems pretty fast. So looking at a few apps, like alarm and timer, you see that everything is the pretty standard theme, blue, white, and gray. Adding a calendar appointment works, no, no errors there. You've got all your different views. Got our standard blue gallery. So it's a it's a great looking ROM. It's very consistent. It's it's themed out. If you like the stock look, so maybe this is an appearance that you really like. All the blue. Personally, I don't really like the blue. So I'm gonna do some add-on packs. But you'll notice with each thing you change, your build number will change down here. This is just the base, and as we put the add-on packs, that'll change. So next we're going to look at the Zoom add-on pack, and we're going to see what that does for us. So once you get your base set up, it's a good idea to go in here and make a backup. Because that'll give you a stable starting point. Good, now our base backup is finished. We only need to wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache before applying an add-on pack. If 
into advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. So then just go to your SD card and you're going to pick the update you want to apply. Let's start with the zoom. And all finished with no errors. So go back and reboot. And check out that cool looking honeycomb boot animation. All part of the add on pack and the theme. This thing is going to look great. Very good. So, right away, you see that our lock screen is a little different has a different default wallpaper. This is blurry. All the widgets, all the blur features. But our top bar of notification icons has changed and we have nice, nice looking color slider buttons with the over scroll. A little different down here and the background is slightly different. Check out the phone dialer and the contacts, all that is black. Nice looking Android green down there. So we've got standard looking menus. We have an ice cream like launcher down here. And side scrolling app drawer. You can now see that this is black instead of the blue. Calendar has a has a gray bar at the top. And you can change your calendar view, of course. There you can see the contrast of that black and gray a little better. Our camera has a different look. Still have high def recording. I'm going to go ahead and take shutter tone off of there. Ooh, very nice. Gallery's been themed out in like a dark gray charcoal, green highlights. We still have the blue menu. Get into message settings there. This ROM looks very nice. Kind of darkened up the whole thing. Gave it a bit of a mystical look. Really cool, really cool. This is the Zoom add on pack. And as you'll see, that changes with each add-on pack that you do. So the procedure is the same for adding the next add-on pack. Just get back into Clockwork Recovery, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik cache, and install the add-on pack. So next we'll take a look at the blurry ice and see what it has to offer that's different. Here's the boot animation for blurry ice. Alright, here's blurry ice 2.3. Looking at the lock screen. Has all the blur widgets and features. See the notification slide is a little different as are the top bar icons. We still have the overscroll highlight. All the power toggles are fully functional. Looking into our dialer, it looks the same. Let's check out our settings menu.
And you can see the build number, we are on the Shifter 2.3 ICE version. And take a look in the gallery. Looks very nice. Still the gray theme with a green highlight selection. Once you're in the gallery and you select something there, you get that cyan color. Still have the overscroll highlight in all the menus. Looking into the G-Talk, pretty standard stuff. Take a peek at our menus. And you can see what our text entry boxes will look like and the keyboard. Still have the ice cream looking launcher. And we have the same long press power button menu as we did in the previous theme. Alright guys, so we'll check out the Blurred Gingerbread in the next installment. 2.3 Blurry Gingerbread Boot Animation. This is a multicolor honeycomb effect. Very cool looking. Now we're looking at the Blurry Gingerbread add-on pack for 2.3. You see we have all the blur widgets and they're themed out, a dark gray and black color. Looks very cool, very sleek. You see our icons are different in the top notification bar. And we have the sliding power toggles, but they're totally different. They're the gingerbread green. Green overscroll. Checking out the phone dialer and our contacts. Overscroll and everything looks very nice with the green slider bar. Menu boxes look the same. We've got the black and gray theme keyboard and text entry boxes. We can look into our app drawer and see that things are themed out in here as well. Alarm and timer. Calculator looks the same. And the calendar looks very different. This is a great look for it. And checking into our camera, this still has the blue theme on it. Take a peek at the gallery, it's still themed with the gray, green highlights. We still have that cyan colored highlight once you're in the gallery, but there's a green overscroll. Taking a peek in G-Talk, it looks the same. Looking into our text app. So this is nice, this gives you three options for customization to add on to Shifter, uh, then they all keep blur. You look into our settings menu, you'll see that we are on the Shifter 2.3 gingerbread. So when the Theory ROM team releases the purity packs, we'll take a look at those and those are going to be all de-blurred. And you can see we have the same long press reboot menu. So that's the rundown of the Shifter 2.3 ROM for the Bionic and the three Blurry add-on packs. Stay tuned and we're gonna do another little video showcasing the Purity add-on packs. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.